Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Got loads more content coming soon on various prop firms, lots of reviews and lots of other great information. So today I thought I'd take a quick look at some of the prop firms I've launched in the past year. Are they still going? Are they actually making progress? Are they ones I actually want to trade with? And it'd be useful just to see how they've actually established themselves in the market. So first one to look at is Court Equity Capital. Now this has been a bit of a big story. I've done quite a few videos on them over the past year because there was so much interest in them around the, the pricing, around the payouts. I did a instant funding with them and obviously worked on a, a small account and got regular payouts. But again, it wasn't perfect. I wasn't making massive gains. The support was pretty sporadic, but as we can see now, they have pretty much completely gone. They tried to make some updates a long time ago. They had loads of issues beginning of the year, tried to get around it and just didn't happen. And the updates have not come to the website and they're literally not responding to any of their support on Telegram anymore. Now my worry here is that they go and start another prop firm. They do the same thing where they launch, take loads of money from people, don't do any payouts and sort of con people out of money in the future. So it's one we're aware of seeing any new prop firms coming out that kind of have the same models and the same look and feel as this particular prop firm. Now I think for most of us we had serious red flags on this prop firm from day one. Just from the interviews that the founder did, it just wasn't ringing true a lot of the claims that were made. And ultimately it all panned out to what we originally expected. So it's a shame that people who were trying to get funded and actually paid money to them probably lost out. But it's one of those things we need to learn from that, do our due diligence and make sure any prop firm we sign up for is right for us and going to be sustainable for the long term. Now the next prop firm is Audacity. Now they've been established for a very long time. They've been going since I think 2012. They have a very good reputation of working with traders, building them up over a long period of time and obviously good payouts. Now they launched their new prop challenge which is effectively the same model as everyone else doing, a challenge of two phase. Uh, this one wasn't quite as competitive as the other prop firms out there. In the fact it had to get 10% in the first phase and 10% in the second, as well as the profit splits not being as good as other prop firms. Now for me, I think it was more just a, a lost leader to entice people to the actual company because a lot of people were getting interest in prop firms. They're going out to all of the, the big ones which you know about and just putting their money into there rather than going with Audacity and working on their main program for traders where actually work with them build up over a period of time and get to a really good uh, funded status. Now, it's a model that works for some people and doesn't work for other. Now for me, I wouldn't really want to do their main funding model. It just doesn't work with my style of trading and actually how I want to progress probably a little bit quicker than most. Now the, the ability challenge, we actually have to do the challenges. Yes, it's a good idea in theory. I just haven't seen anyone actually take on and actually get any payouts from them. It could be I'm looking in the wrong places and there are lots of funded traders with them. But again, for me, as a company, they're fantastic. They obviously support traders in a great way. Again, this just wasn't the actual prop firm for me. So now we come to Blue Edge Financial. Again, they've been long established in the industry for helping people pass their challenges. They had certain EAs and strategies to actually help people get to that funded status. And obviously with the reports were, they obviously had a very good track record of doing that. They launched their prop firm. But at the same time as them launching it, the claims they made was they were very competitive, they had the best payout structures and all those things going around it. And the reality was at that same time, things shifted in the prop industry. The percentage shares went up, sort of 80, 85% profit splits. The uh, risks and the maximum drawdowns increased up to 6%. The profit targets actually reduced from say 10% to 8% on a lot of prop firms. They just didn't adapt to that. So it used to be when you went to their website, you had Forex, Crypto and Funding. Now the funding isn't there anymore, which is a bit of a shame. So for me, that just shows they're actually not able to sustain as a prop firm. Or it wasn't viable, it wasn't profitable, and they just sort of closed that part of the business down. Now what they have done is shifted away from some of the other models, and you can actually now do a program with them where they actually do your funding on your behalf. So they choose a prop firm they're working with, and they'll do all of your funding and get you to that stage where you're a funded trader and hand the account over to you at that point. It seems to be working quite well. It seems to be quite popular with a lot of people and from what I'm seeing, the success is actually pretty good. Now, I think the reason why it, this problem didn't gel with me is because they had a very complex pricing strategy. You had to be a member of the, the original sort of Blue Edge Financial where you got a bit of a discount, but the actual discount amount wasn't enough to offset being a member. Now, being a member, you got the benefits of 
lots of their strategies or their sort of uh, guides or their EAs. But again, it wasn't really a benefit if you already knew how to trade. You actually would end up paying over the top price and not getting a good profit split. So I think that's why for me it didn't succeed. Now, they might come back in the future. I don't know. They probably could relaunch and be quite competitive in the market. It'd be nice to keep an eye on and see what they're doing. Now another prop firm with blue in the title is Blue Guardian Capital. Now I actually did a challenge with them, just a, a very small one, just to see how they're actually working, see how the dashboard works, and it was actually quite a good experience. Now for me, I managed to pass to phase one fairly easily, and as I went into phase two, so much other stuff was going on, I couldn't dedicate my time to it, and ultimately I didn't pass it. I've not gone back to anything with them since, I've just kept an eye on it to see how they're actually doing. Now, through their social media, they're not that active on Instagram. It would be nice if they actually were posting lots more updates and actually all their payouts. The only way of actually seeing the payouts from them is to look on their Telegram group. So one of the things that alerts me slightly to this prop firm is that the payouts aren't massive. When we look at uh, comparable prop firms, if we take the $100,000 challenge, we see other prop firms always giving payouts of 10, 20, 40, even $80,000 per month. When we compare that to Blue Guardian, the payouts are only sort of three, six, sometimes up to $10,000 in a month. Now they don't say whether on a $50,000 account, $100,000 account, that might give a bit more perspective to it as a percentage gain on the account. But for me, if they're really looking to branch out to that real next level, you've got to be seeing these big payouts. Is there a red flag there that there actually are people getting payouts, but they're actually stopping it for whatever reason? I don't know, I'm not that actively involved. But from what I've seen as a prop firm, they've been pretty good on their customer support with me personally. And the, if the payouts are true, they're obviously making regular payouts to their actual funded traders. And again, that's a good thing to see and hopefully they'll continue over the next year and become more established in the market. And so my final one is Top Tier Trading. Again, they launched about a year ago and I've kept an eye on them, although I've not personally signed up. I have no involvement with them whatsoever. I've just kept an eye on their social media, so their Instagram. Yes, they're actively posting. They're doing their sort of trade of the week and sort of giving analysis on what they're doing there. We can see from their YouTube channel, they're posting regular updates and videos, uh, interviews with people and seeing the good payouts as well. Again, I've not really seen massive praise from a lot of traders who have been funded with them. It could be I'm looking in the wrong place. I need to do a bit more diving and to see how they're growing their sort of established base and building up as a established prop firm. A few people have messaged me saying they've had problems, but again, I've got nothing to substantiate that and give any negativity towards them. All I can see is they've been going for a good period of time, they've made lots of payouts, they're continuing to build their brand and their business, and hopefully they'll be established for a long time and grow to become one of the more established prop firms in the industry. So again, that's my take of five of the prop firms that have launched in the past year and how they're doing. Again, it's not great to see prop firms fail if they're coming out as a scam, but it's also good to see that the ones that have actually launched have been fairly well established and actually keep them going, and obviously that sort of builds the whole industry up and therefore going to have overall a much better industry, much better support for the traders, and much better payouts. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you all here soon. Cheers!